Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another like um, sticker monthly memory keeping video. Um, so I filmed one with you guys last month and you guys seemed to really enjoy it and it was actually really fun for me to do as well. So I thought I would do another one this month. So what I'm doing is instead of every evening putting a sticker down, like showing my highlight of the day, I just keep a sticky note here and, and make a note of like you know like a sticker that I would want to use um yeah or basically my highlight like so we went to Rome and I've written Trevi Fountain obviously I don't have a Trevi Fountain sticker but that's gonna when I pull my stickers um out I can pick something appropriate so let's get cracking I'm gonna use my navy blue Muji pen in the 0 0.38 um something I haven't used in a while um because I'm quite like obsessive when I find a pen that I like I will just use that pen till death basically um let me take my watch off so let's get started so the first few days were still for me like memory keeping in uh not memory keeping my planner days were still in the previous month so I'm going to just refresh my day because it says alone time oh yeah so basically my husband went to um took the kids to Ireland I think I said that in a previous video and so that was my last day at home alone by myself they didn't get back till like quite late at night um so I'm gonna squish these stickers in from create with pen just to mark it was kind of like nice me time time um, and then the next day, Saturday, I had plans to meet up with my friend in Starbucks. Um, met up with Gandharvika. So that was really nice. We ended up like chatting for I think like four hours or something. Um, and then Sunday, I had some service at the temple so that was nice i just write here puja day um that is from create with pen this one i can't remember where that's from i'll have to link it below but it's a uk shop might be ginger cat co actually and that's from aria's daydream um and then the next day this sticker is from salam creative oops salam creative um i basically packed four um Italy because we were going to Rome the next day so pretty much the whole day I was just like packing for myself and the kids um so yeah and then for the Trevi fountain I will use this little heart sticker from a shop that's no longer open I'm trying not to smudge this panel I think it's quite good um yeah that was definitely the highlight I'm going to change the sticker position there because Trevi is a smaller word than fountain. Um, yeah, it was just so beautiful. I'd actually forgotten how majestic it is to be there. Um, I haven't been to Rome in 20 years, maybe longer. I went from like on a school trip and I have been back to Italy several times. It's probably like my most traveled to country in Europe. Um, I think this was my fifth visit. But it was just really nice to um yeah be there with the kids um and again seeing the coliseum the next day with the kids after we've like studied about it and read about it it was just incredible um Bishaka said it was a lot smaller than <laughs> she'd imagined um but yeah that was fun and then pretty much our whole trip, this is also from Salam Creative, we had so much gelato because that's what you do when you're in Rome. Um, yeah, the whole trip, but that day especially, we just had like, we found some really good gelato. And again, we were um, eating pizza pretty much every day. So that's my highlight of Friday because those two days we kind of just didn't have anything planned we were just wandering around the streets just walking and I think we did like a bus tour open air bus tour um so yeah that was a really nice trip and then we kind of came back so it was a really short trip we went early early morning so we had all day Tuesday all day Wednesday Thursday and all day Friday and we arrived home like late at night Ooh. 
Um, and then we headed to Birmingham for the weekend. So it was kind of like, um, yeah, very like basically just back home to sleep because we had um, like a massive 24 hour chanting singing type thing in Birmingham. Um, <laughs> not just us like loads of people and it was really nice because it was the first one since the pandemic and so we got to like I got to see all my old friends and catch up and some of the boys that I haven't seen since like for a long time but I've known them since we were like 14 15 um so they're like my family so it was really nice to see them and catch up with them all and see their kids and stuff like that um so yeah, and then Sunday again, just more chanting. So I'm gonna put just that. That's a bit of an awkward spot there, isn't it? Uh, let's see, maybe I'll just move this sticker to the middle. That's good. Um, actually, I didn't even write catching up, seeing my friends. So I will put that here because the whole chanting experience, of course, was incredible. Uh, we have like a lot of music and song and dance. Um, but that was, of course, amazing. But for me, like seeing my friends was also definitely a highlight. Um, and then on Monday, very sad news that my friend's um, mom passed away. Again, she's like... A devotee friend that I've known since I was 15 and I've known her mom all those years and she's like an aunt so that was really sad um yeah just sort of unexpected in one sense but not sudden um but yeah I kind of want to keep I want to kind of keep a record of that and then Tuesday I was on a work like professional development course pretty much all day it was like so tiring but really educational <laughs> so that's fine and it was it was um on zoom anyway so that's I mean, I can, means I can do it from the comfort of my own home and then I decided I was going to have like a nice day, fun day of filming. So I pretty much, yeah, just, um, I don't even remember what I filmed, but I was obviously filming loads because that's the highlight. I'm going to have a quick look. 13, here we go. Um, okay, doesn't say just filmed all the videos so I must have filmed my June flip cousin flip okay the previous month's flip throughs basically um and then for the 14th we went to see the minions I might have to cut this sticker down so let me do that now because it's not going to fit um could cut it here I'm not sure where this is from. I'm pretty sure this is like one of those stickers that you print and cut at home by yourself. Uh, this is for some from Salam Creative, Kina Prince, Once More With Love, Create With Pen, Kina Prince. Again, I think this is from the shop that's closed down. Sorry guys, I'm so terrible at remembering to say where every sticker is from. Okay, and then Friday was the last day of our school. So I'm just gonna put here school's out for the summer. Or maybe I'll just put school over. And yeah, that was a nice day. We kind of had some end of term celebrations that we normally do, some small gifts, things like that. And then Saturday, I dropped my daughter before we went into London, she didn't want to come, so I dropped her to my mum's house, and then it was such a hot day again. Um, I stopped by Starbucks and got myself a lovely frappuccino and didn't tell anyone. 
because my kids these days, as soon as they I mention Starbucks, they're like, I want a frap. They're so spoilt. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was nice. And Sash Sunday, um, yeah, a, a late night sort of um, at the temple. And it was really nice. Like we all got up and we were just dancing. And yeah, it was really fun. Then Monday was so, so nice. I took a Skillshare class, a watercolour class, and I kept thinking, okay, yeah, this is great. I'm just going to wake up and have breakfast and do, um, you know, half an hour of art. And I haven't picked it up since, but I am, I am going to because <laughs> um, I just really enjoy it and I don't know why I just cannot seem to make time for it and then <laughs> dreaded tuesday was record breaking temperatures for us it was like i think first time not i think it was the first time ever that we hit like 40 degrees uh, the highest recorded was 40.3 that's in celsius i think the highest before has been like 38 point something so we actually like went up by two degrees which is quite scary and there were like so many forests um not forests but like yeah grass and tree fires everywhere my husband was very very like late home out working he's a firefighter um yeah we kind of escaped to starbucks and just sat in the ac but the night was so awful to get through like so terrible um the heat just the concrete and the like our buildings like everything in our in the uk is built to insulate you know to keep houses warm um and yeah it was just terrible the heat just got trapped um there was no wind no breeze no rain just no break uh, it was really like bad um and we do not have ac in the in the uk i know everybody gets really shocked when i say that but we typically do not have very hot summers and we do not have heat waves for more than like a few days like it'll get hot for like two or three days and then that's it this was like a 10 day heat wave and it just kept building and building the heat um so yeah i think maybe now everybody will start looking into getting AC because if this is the future um yeah sorry about that little ramble there the 20th I have put shopping and I can't remember if I went with my daughter um yes I did so shopping with Vishaka and we also picked up a few gifts for her oops her birthday that was 28th um, and then on Thursday, her and I headed to the temple because there was like a program on, but we had like such nice pizza. Um, it was like stone baked pizza. So I just want to put that there. And then a very much needed PJ day at home for us on Friday. I was just exhausted from the heat and from just being out and about. Um, so yeah that was very much appreciated and then another starbucks on saturday um yeah i don't really know what else to say it's about that hmm. i'll just write another starbucks because we went into london again and my kids didn't want to come and my husband was doing something so i sat in the car for a bit and had to, I, I went and got a starbucks and sat in the car with the ac on and then another very nice day at the temple okay uh let's do stickers again this one i can't remember where it's from that's from salam creative that's a printable from Fox and Pip, like a digital file, but I know she doesn't offer them anymore, unfortunately, which is such a shame because check out the florals, so beautiful. And she doesn't, we got them in like this orangey colour and blue colour, but yeah, unfortunately she doesn't sell them anymore. This is something I just did myself, Kina Prints, Create with Pen. Uh, again, I can't remember where that's from. This is again from Chocho and Mimi, this same shop that's now 
closed but I'm pretty sure they're just graphics because I've seen this panda I actually have the digitals for this panda so yeah I'm sure you could search for these even if the shop I use is closed down um yeah I'll just put kirtans which is kirtan is um our word for chanting with like in collectively as a group and with instruments singing and chanting so that's what kirtan is um we just go every sunday evening now to the temple because my daughter just loves it and then she also gets like to sing sometimes and stuff and then monday i for once had an early night because i have been going to bed so late um especially since we're on the summer holidays i go to bed at like three four o'clock um but because i have to wake up at three on tuesday i actually went to sleep at eight um and i actually went to sleep not that i just got into bed so that was good and then on tuesday really fun we had games night with our friends um very very fun um hopefully we'll do that again before they go back to Alachua and then Wednesday we went to um Soho like our temple in London um so that was nice and then of course celebrating Vishaka's 15th on the 28th i honestly don't know where time has gone um but yeah she is oops i made a mess of that 15 and then friday i had a massive lion um i slept until I think 11 a.m. which is like unheard of for me but obviously very much needed after a busy kind of busy month and again the heat even now it's like hot it's like 30 degrees 28 29 27 every day but because we hit 40 like this doesn't seem so oppressive at all even though it is actually very exhausting and hot um but yeah 30th I had a lovely PJ day at home I try and have like one or two at least every week but it hasn't quite been working out so that was nice um and then Sunday we had Vishaka and my sister's birthday because my sister's birthday Rina's birthday is on the 22nd and Vishaka's is like a week later so they always have their celebration together and we went whitewater rafting which was oh my god so fun uh we we did the same activity last year as well for their birthdays and it was definitely like a keeper so i think that's become quite a family tradition now um but yeah there you go guys that is my memory keeping for july i love the spread i love the washi i just love how everything turned out i love my memories been such a fun adventurous uh but very very hot month <laughs> um so yeah thank you for joining me and i will probably do the same again for august actually so um i'll see you then take care guys bye